Aloha. Um, look at what I got. Uh, uh, wish for like three dollars, including shipping. <laughs> um, but I wanted to update you on what's going on. I have actually had a pretty good last week or two. Uh, a few things have happened, and the first thing is that I got a promotion here at work and that means a lot of the stress that I have been having is just gone. <laughs> um, it's kind of an odd thing because I do still have stress but it's more it's a good stress. It's more about getting my job done rather than having to do my job, if that makes any sense. Um, now, because of this promotion, I do the same things I did before, but I have more control over them. I don't have to report every little teeny tiny thing I do to somebody. I don't have to question every little thing I do and say is this okay is this okay can you proofread this and let me know if it's okay to send out you know I get to make the decisions and that has been a big struggle for me because this is what I used to do before I came to work for this company and so having to back step was kind of an issue for me and I knew it would be coming in and I even told the woman that hired me I said you know I'm I hope I don't have a problem with that and I've really been trying to work on it but it has been a problem for me and I'm you know I try not to let it go out but obviously <laughs> and so there are in addition with this promotion there were some other things that had been stressing me out that are now moot um, you know I won't have those to deal with anymore so <sighs> big relief and with the promotion I got a raise yay round of applause Yes, and so that is helping financially. Of course, I haven't had my first paycheck yet, so I don't know how much taxes are going to cut into it, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to being able to pay off Tucker's surgical bill on my next paycheck, and then I can get him back into the laser treatment. Um, poor puppy can barely walk. And so it's been very stressful, you know, watching him be in pain and knowing that we can't do anything about it until we get this surgery paid off. So, and then I also had someone, um, I, I don't really know how to word this. Um, I, I don't want to say a whole lot, but someone I don't know well, but that I see, you know, two or three times a week, um, offered some financial assistance for me. And that was, it wasn't a great big amount, but for me, it was like so much. Um, and just the fact that it was offered, that it was given, it was just, it meant so much to me. And the fact that I don't know this person that well, um, you know, I see, I see him all the time, but again, we're not close. And so, and he just, he, he knew about the cancer, but the personal aspects of it he didn't know he didn't know about the financial he didn't know um, he doesn't know about all the side effects and all of that part that's going on but when he found out 
about one thing in particular of the financial. He just said, that's not right, and you know, I want to give this to you and help you out. And so it really meant a lot to me that he did that. And I, I still, you know, wow. <laughs> and then a, uh, it's been a couple of weeks now, and um, somebody I went to high school with got in touch with me. She found me through all this cancer stuff. And so that was really cool. Um, I've wondered over the years, you know, what what's happened to her. You know, I'd heard a couple of things over the years, and so um, it was really cool hearing from her. I'm I'm really glad that she got in touch, and uh, we used to have some fun times together. God. <gasps> anyway, um, I won't go into details on that, but. <laughs> um, you know, and one of the reasons for making this video is to let you know that, because I know I've done a lot of the negative, the valleys, the, the really low end, you know, of the spectrum videos, because that happens, you know, when you have cancer or some other disease or, you know, you have a death in the family, you have something going on, you hit that valley, but then good stuff happens and you come up again and I'm not saying I'm not going to go down again but for now this feels good and so you know I can revel in it for a while and um, you're, it, it's going to happen you're going to go up and down and you know it might be little up and downs and like I did where I went really down and now Okay, so the phone just rang and I had to turn this off, so I'm not sure where I was. <laughs> but the whole point is that of this video is that you may have little ups and downs as you go through whatever you're going through. You may have big ups and downs. You know, I mean, obviously I was just in a big down that seemed to stay for, you know, what felt like forever. I know it wasn't. And I know the down could have been worse, too. Um, I, I've definitely been through worse downs in my life. So, but to be coming back up again feels so good. And so just know that if you are down, it will, you will come back up at some point, you know, it, it, I, it's that corny thing, things will get better, you know, and I know you want to slap people when they say that to you, things will get better, things will get better, but they do, you know, it, it's just, the, that's the way life is, up and down, and you can't always control what's going on, you can to some extent, but not everything. And, I mean, if we could control everything, we wouldn't have cancer, right? So, just try and keep that in mind. And, you know, if, I guess if you're someone who's supporting someone with cancer, let them, let them go through their bad time. I mean, you know, try to help them, obviously, but don't write them off if they're in a down period because that's when they really need you. And uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. <sighs> it's like it gets to the front of my brain and then somewhere before it hits my mouth it like messes up. So that has been the last couple of weeks for me, which are now going better. Thank you. Um, hopefully they will continue to get better for a while before they get back down again. I have been scheduled for a bone scan because of the aches and pains I've been going through. They want to make sure that the cancer hasn't gone into the bones and you know it's not something else that's causing all these aches and pains that I have and so that's gonna be a whole lot of fun 
Apparently you have to drink some, oh no, you get an injection, that's right, you get an injection and then you go back three hours later to have the scan. So I actually get to go to the hospital, get injected, go shopping, because it's too far away to just go home and then go back and get the scan that takes like an hour. So I'm going to take the day off work. <laughs> I have some vacation time built up now, so I'll use it. And so that's about it for me, or that's about it with me for now. <laughs> and I need to get back to work. So I'm going to say goodbye, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.